Hello friends, this is Utz, and with the Xenomorph coming out just recently, a lot of people have been asking me what is a build that I recommend or that I think is best to run on it. Obviously, it's very early to say, but one build that's been working out pretty well that I'm leaning towards more than anything else is this one. We have two very strong, difficult to counter information perks. The Discordance will let you know where multiple survivors are. This helps not only at the start, but throughout the whole match to help keep them divided. And when a gen is about to be done, hopefully by just one person, Tinkerer will let you know. You're going to be constantly harassing gens and kicking them anytime you can to apply eruption, which will make them go down every time you down someone. And when you do down someone and you hook them, your next kick will also have an extra punch from Pop Goes the Weasel. These perks all honestly work amazing together, and this is a killer that can get value out of all of them in most of the matches that you'll play with this. I find it really useful, and if your downs are on point and you're really getting better, I think you're going to quite enjoy it. Let me show you a couple of games I played with it, and I'm also going to give you a couple of alternatives at the end of the video. All right, this would have once sent me down a spiral of suffering and agony but <laughs> this map is actually quite all right now we don't really mind it let's go to the furthest point until we get the discordance or something let's see oh there you go all right so these two perks work while you're in the tunnel in case it wasn't obvious so you can change your mind as you go which is really nice oh he seems to be singled out a little bit what is this a pallet gym jungle gym oh you don't make that dude Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but the two brown add-ons that I'm running are pretty good. The first one shows you the autos of turrets while you're in a tunnel, which is super good info. And the other one makes you get your power back passively faster between chases. Not too bad. All right, so we got our first pop. Even if they split up, I don't think we're going to really get to use it. So we're not going to lose our mind. If we get a gen... Ooh, um, I mean, we could go check that out, sure. No biggie. We could kick this for just the eruption, but who knows? Maybe the gen's at 50. Let's go. Let's go to that one since I missed a skill check on it. Here we go. Oh, there's a turret. That's my brown add-on telling me. Alright. Um, unfortunately, if you are in front of the turret, you don't really hit it. You need to go like around it. It's a bit weird. It's kind of like when you hit a survivor that's healing another survivor and the hitbox is like on their butt rather than on their face. So I think that might have been a bit on me. Let's kick this for the eruption. Remember, you can apply it to as many gens as you want. This is another jungle gym. There's three in this map. Let's wait a bit. Maybe they're running to me. No, could have waited a bit longer. Nice. Good try, though. That was a good try. We're so close to this, and we have a smaller turret radius. Let's just go bother them. They might go for the window. Ooh. That was pretty good. Nah, it doesn't matter. We're going to lose runner mode, but... Oh, crawler mode. See? Hit, hit it on its back, and it's a little bit better. Mm, you know what I could do? It's kind of cheeky, but I could go from one portal straight to another. Real, real close. I'm probably detector. So hard to hear the heartbeat. Oh, even better. We found Serena. Monk. Oh, okay. Styled on us a bit. Right, so they're there, huh? Let's mark that. And go there real quick. Oh, damn. Okay, that was really fast. Actually, they're both healthy. Mm, we go and kick that one then. Wow, that's so... Uh, I don't know how they pulled that off. Kind of under my nose. Uh, we could wait a little bit for Eruption to be active on this gen. But I think we'll be okay. Uh, we can also try to look for footsteps. Ah, uh, they unhooked. Yeah, if you don't have information from either of these perks, you can look for these orange... For these orange little indicators that we just saw. Mm, they might have, must have been a bit too far because we didn't hear the heartbeat that happens when you come out and they're nearby. Mm-hmm. They haven't started this one. This is so strange. You think they've gone Shack? They should be doing it on their own because there's no Discordance. I mean, let's go check. Listen in. Oh, yeah, they have because there's a turret in it. So, yeah, we have at least three sources of information. Three sources of information. The brown add-on that shows me the autos of the turrets, which they typically place on the areas that they're doing gems in. Uh, the footsteps that happen when they make noise. 
Sorry. Uh, one little tip to go through that gap, by the way, you hold forward and hold sideways. So you kind of like glide and you just run into it at a bit of an angle. Don't don't try to just hold forward. You you will probably fall. You need to like glide along it if you if you know what I mean. So that was a big one. It was a big help when someone pointed that out to me, by the way. Oh, let's go and pop this, maybe. Hello? Okay, this time we did hit it for some reason. Another pop. It's so incredible, by the way. There are so many killers that are so slow and the maps are so big. I didn't have my cooldown ready. You didn't. You could have gone. And it's. it feels so impossible to... It feels so impossible to use pop every time. Not with this one, though. That could have been a hit if we did it right. Ooh, okay, question is, do we want to sneak up to that? We do have Tinkerer and it's pretty near. I think we do. Okay, whoever was here could probably see us. Let's apply this eruption. The person on the hook is still there. The person going for the rescue is probably David. Um, we're starting to get to a point where we can't really hold everything. We might we might be losing something, but if more chase is fast here, this guy goes down, we apply so many eruptions. Ooh, they still have a, t a, t a turret here, don't they? Not only that, they also have... Um, hmm. Hmm, let's go in. Let's go in. They'll want to do that. They also healed by that other one, so we could change our mind, but... This is the this is an injured person, is it? Ripley? Seems like it. Wonderful. Now be very careful because you cannot you cannot hit an obstacle and then drag past it. Uh, I explained this yesterday when I picked up the killer. But the way you need to visualize the hitbox of this character is like it's a it's like a little rock attached to a rope. So if you if you throw it over something, it can then fall. You can you can throw it past an obstacle and then make it go down. But if it hits the obstacle, obstacle, it's gonna bounce back off. So, um, how to explain this? In ooh, well, we have very little cooldown for missing, so she won't take it, will she? Yeah, she will. So if someone's behind a window or a pallet, you can throw above and then lower it to hit them. But if you hit the frame of the window, then it's not, you, you cannot drag it afterwards. Uh, notably, uh, Nemesis is not like this. With Nemesis, you can hit something and then still have multiple hitboxes. This is like a, a, a continuous one. And if it hits something, it's over. That's so nice. Nice. Well, we didn't panic there, I guess. Lots of time before... Lots of times without hearing anything from the Scorders and Tinkerer. Um, hope you're not dead, lady. Are you going for flashy saves or something? I mean, I can just walk here, honestly. You really should have finished this by now. Alright, that gives me a lot of confidence. Uh, we could check that after a bit. Let's go and kick this if it's... It's regressed to nothing. Yeah, wow. Let's go and listen. The gym sounds like it's a nothing. Oh, uh, a gun there. Let's check on this one then. Oh. Oh, look at the footsteps. Yeah, okay, they, this was a bit of a happy accident. I didn't mean to go back into the hook, but hey. Sure then. Is there any super big advantage to hitting with your tail instead of like... Nice, good job. Instead of M1-ing? Not a huge one. If you think you're gonna miss, just hit them with a basic M1 attack. Uh, if you have add-ons to inflict mangled and stuff with your tail, there's a few, then yeah, maybe it's... Maybe it's... Wait, hold up, she might... Do this automatically. No, that was smart of her. Well done, well done. But yeah, you do have a shorter cooldown, and missing with your tail is very forgiven. Ooh, look at that. Did I lose any distance? Almost none. 
there we do a bit of a sweep from left to right, so it's harder to escape. Ooh, nice try though. What are we gonna do? Look away. Watch out because sometimes if you look at the hook and try to look up, you will still you will still be blinded. I've seen that happen a couple of times. Oh wow. They honestly look like they were doing really well, but it looks like they've lost all of their momentum. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We threw the rock over the thing. And then we lowered it. Now, she seems pretty aware now. <laughs> I'm gonna fish you, so you know. See? Earlier, she did the same thing, and we didn't quite do it right. But now, we know exactly what we're doing. We are a little bit more focused, so we go over and then bend it. And that's how you hit them, I guess. And we get another pop, and I'm not gonna lie, I think this game is out of the over, so... Maybe we can trim some of the fat and skip to the end. One... And two. Alright, good effort. Uh, let's see what we can do maybe in a different map against a different style of players. Alright, so for pit. Uh, split in two, heavy middle, very, very huge potential for three gens. I don't know what it is with this map, but sometimes it just has three gens on the main side. Or four gens on the main side, all of which are way too close to each other. Oh, I hear something, hold up. Wait a minute, a person has no either? But why? I would drop that. Yeah, well on. I'm not gonna break it yet, hold up. If she's running away, we get a hit on her first. Mm, or hit that rock first. That almost worked. We're there. We're getting there. We're getting there. There you go. She did a fun spin, though. This is an interesting character. Let's go. Uh, window's gonna be over there. Do I beat her to it? Um. Yes, we do, because the new vaults are bad. With the old vaults, she probably would have been out. Well, that's not how it works anymore, I guess. All right. So let's get this. Ho uh, did they have flashies? Uh oh. Guess they did. Nowhere to hide might have helped for that. All right, no biggie. We'll get our power back eventually. Hey yo, this is uh, not a super good pallet to chase around without our power, but we do get it back soon. Uh oh, damn, that's not good. That's really not good. We need to go. That no either girl is going to be doing gents at the same speed as everybody else. So, that's not very good. Ah, it's two people, they're going to finish it, I need to accept that. Excuse me? Did he just start walking? Did he just start walking here? What? Wh what? What? Oh my god. Okay, step one, uh, accept that you've been outplayed. Step two, uh, get going, I guess. Wow, 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 wow. They have a turret here. Uh, maybe risky. I keep making that mistake, I keep making that mistake. Do not do, do not do this. There you go. You cannot attack it while it's uh, offline for some reason. So you need to uh, wait for it to come back live. At this point, if I'm kicking this gen, I'm shooting myself in the in the foot. Mm. But I do need a down. Well, maybe that Claudette will provide it. Let's try. They have a turret here as well. I'm so sorry, but like... <laughs> Alright, no joke, that should have killed her and not me. That should have done more damage to Claudette. <laughs> I was holding her like a human shield. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel quite right, but oh well. Let's go over there. Maybe we still have a chance to use pop. There's not been... Ah, let's come up here, actually. I wanna... I wanna hit this with eruption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will do. That makes injured as well. This chance to use Tinker could be huge. Hmm... Seems a bit uh, overkill to have Tinker on a killer with a small tower radius, but it does help, it does help. Look at this, for example. Okay, we got it without losing crawler mode, excellent. He's gonna play around this and be smart. Wait, no, he's running. Uh, did we rob that gen? I hope so. 
Um, this is a good one, honestly. He takes that window, he's fine. Let's break this. I love how the alien just holds its little hands on it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, that's not so good. Oh, you're absolutely joking! Oh, that was such good teamwork. Oh, you have to, you have to respect it. Yikes, 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 yikes. Yeah, click on me all you want. We almost hit him. That hit would have been really big too. Would have been huge because it would have hit everybody with eruption. Oh, dang, well, a couple toolboxes, never good. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We get a power back a little bit sooner. Mm, I'd rather not have to chase this girl, if I'm honest, but hey. That, I thought, was a good one. I probably shook my head around it. That didn't hit, sadly. That didn't hit either. I think we hit the obstacle a bit too soon. That's a damn shame. Uh, we're gonna lose that gen as well and probably the game at this rate. Yep, there it is. We got there. We got her though. Um, okay, wonderful. I don't understand how she's getting away with it. There you go. We should have done that the first time, sadly. And yeah, I figured. They're literally all here. Alright, we need to make a recovery. That wasn't quite it. Do not pick him up just yet. Let's see if we can get caught. I mean, it's two people. Um, are we happy with this situation? I'm really not happy with this situation. Let's mark oh, that and hook this guy. The worst thing that could happen right now is I get greedy and this guy has unbreakable as well. On top of it all. Let's try to go for the two girls that we know are together and that are probably going to try to get a heal off. It's so annoying that that can work during your hook carrying animation, but hey, here we go. These guys are challenging me in a way that is very different from the last match, so it's only fair. Oh, they re-enabled that. Uh, this is going to be a very... Mm, worth a shot, I think. She'll run me around that, surely. No? She goes elsewhere? Mm. Oh, she thought I would break it, maybe. That heart? You have it? <laughs> Apparently not. I really don't know what gen they're looking to do right now. Maybe they're taking a little break from gens. Do we still have a 3 gen around this side of the map? We do. We can always fall back on that. Mm. We'll have to break this. And then go here. Follow the yellow line. Let's see if we can erupt this. Yeah, this is good. Oh my god, this chance really progress too. That pop's gonna be great. Uh, we haven't checked on this chance. We could go real quick and listen. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem like they're done. Oh, well, I guess we have a bit of... Oh, I know what I can do. That would have been really ambitious. I think that's something we'll be able to pull off, but not until we have become much, much better with this character. Let's break it now. Oh, interesting idea. Oh, that's huge for us. Um, do not underestimate. Nice. Good. Uh-oh. Good eruption, but what about that gen? Where is it? Real far? It's this one right here? It's all three of them? Okay, dudes. I don't even know what to say to this. Well, they're gonna break our... Actually, they're gonna... They're out already. Yeah, no, no, they're totally out. Um... Oh. Tenacity! Ooh, spicy. Maybe that's why we caught her. Maybe that's why when we downed her, she was so far away from her original thing. Let's go and see if we can pop that gen over there. Uh, our 3 gen here is super shaky. It should be pretty close to being done. Uh, Colette's dead, that's for sure. Uh, okay, Brown Adon, you need to give me my power ASAP, and I need to hit Meg if possible. Alright, you know what? We'll take a pop. Can I break this thing now while it's overheated? 
I really wouldn't mind if the hitboxes were a tad larger. Just a tad larger. Alright, here we go. Let's go to this one. We still have no reason to kick this. Let's go back. You can always go back through the same portal that you entered, by the way. You can always enter, do a couple, you know, back and forth, back and forth, get your power, and then come out. All right, let's see. Ooh, I think this was pure greed. Uh, watch out for a potential dead heart here, even though... Nah. Okay, that's big. And I believe she's dead on hooks, so... I'm really surprised that he would do this. <laughs> Okay, I saw that. He tried to he tried to hit me with the flashlight through two holes. <laughs> okay, nice try. Jesus. Now, do not sleep. Do not fall asleep. This gen, I already tinkered up. They're not it's not gonna give me a warning. Let's go. Mm, I think because I'm pushing them both, I can get a little bit greedy. And, yeah, if they were going in different directions, that would be scarier, because then if I commit to one, then the other one finishes it, and so on and so forth. But since they both ran in the same direction, I was confident there. You are in some trouble, son. Nice. Do a bit of a drag. And, I mean, we could have popped it as well if we wanted to play it a little bit safer. Good play by these guys, though. And, I mean, incredible value from Pop, I think. Eruption, even. All the perks did a bit of their job. Now, um, I'm gonna tell you already, this build will not make any miracles. It has absolutely no help for the end game. None of these perks do anything. They're all ori oriented towards gens, so obviously, uh, uh, unless you manage to like hit someone at the last second, it's gonna do absolutely nothing for your end game um, situations. So yeah. Maybe if you dislike that, you could always swap out one of the perks. All right, maybe she crawls out. And if you're first, if you make mistakes like I did, or if they get pallet saves, flashy saves, whatever, and and you lose the first few gens without anyone being injured and so on, oh, it's so hard to come back. It's so hard to come back. All right, so that build we just showcase is definitely decent. If you know a better one, please let me know. But what happens if you're a newer player and don't have a lot of perks unlocked? In that case, you might want to run a build made up of basic perks like this one, which is a little bit more endgame oriented, but still decent. And do not shy away from using perks from basic killers like Trapper or Hillbilly. This worked pretty well on the Xenomorph. In fact, Tinkerer can let you know where the last gen is about to be done so you can show up there with no one escapes death and do quite a bit of damage. And even if you only get one DLC out of this ones that I'm listing, you will immediately have access to some very decent perks for this killer. So this and one more DLC purchase and you'll have something very close to a very decent build already. Uh, now, keep in mind, though, some perks are not super ideal on it. Uh, Sloppy Butcher and Jolt, which are otherwise decent perks, do not work when you use your tail attacks. So you might want to replace them by perks as well in the game that have nothing to do with basic attacks. And if you need anti-healing, you also have add-ons that can kind of replace Sloppy Butcher. For a similar reason, Rapid Brutality, even though it's its own perk, I do not recommend at all. You will lose out on Bloodlust, and you will be mostly using your tail to start out any any chase, so you're gonna be more hurt than benefited from running this perk. And one final recommendation, do not just save the best for last on this killer. I know it seems like a good idea to hit the obsession with your tail and save the stacks, but the truth is, your tail is such a good attack, you should be using it on everybody. If you're playing against survivors that feed you a lot of hits with Save the Best for Last, you would have won that game anyway. If you play against survivors that are really, really challenging you, you're not going to have time to build it up. It's much better if you forget about basic attacks and try to practice using your tail as much as possible. The better you get with it, the faster you will get results with this killer. Uh, that being said, please feel free to educate me if you found anything insightful, and I'm sure that will also help other players that are looking to have fun with this killer, which is honestly one of the best ones they've released in a very long time. I hope that you enjoy it. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.